This is 106.1 KYVZ. Good Wednesday morning. Visiting now with meteorologist Chris Schrammick. Chris, a chilly start to the day, but nothing like what we had earlier this week. Joe, we came out of that deep freeze here yesterday morning. We saw those temperatures from, you know, basically a series of systems that started on the 8th and then went all the way through uh, yesterday with that clip, you know, that air coming all the way from uh, Greenland, circulating all the way through Western Canada and eventually has ended up in the southeastern United States and leaving and going out into the Atlantic here today and tomorrow. Uh, what that does is it'll open up the weather back to the west and we'll got this flow that's moving in from the southwest and we'll start to see the temperatures continue to warm today as we are here this morning. However, we wanted to update those record low temperatures we saw yesterday morning. I got a post from Reggie Verbus, our local weatherman, and he hit 18. So officially Atwood will go minus 18. That breaks the record of minus 11 set in 1930. So that's what we're going to officially go with for Atwood. Out there this morning, we're sitting at 8 degrees in Goodland. We got 10 degrees in Colby. We got 3 degrees up there in McCook and Oberlin. And we've got a southwesterly wind at 10 miles per hour. As that wind remains light through the day, we're going to see these temperatures warm up. It's going to be warmer out there in Colorado in the tw- starting out in the 20s this morning, going into the lower 40s. And the reason for that is they don't have any snow on the ground. They've only received three inches or less since that uh, first snowstorm on the 8th through the 10th and uh, up to date. And, and that stuff's all either blown away or melted. And then to get across the state line from, say, the Sharon Springs or Highway 27 area to Atwood, Norton, a line to Colby, back to uh, Russell Springs, that was our four to eight inch line. And then you go to the south and east of Colby in the Greenfield area, Leota, uh, stretching up into west of Hill City. That is where you saw no fall in the foot range or more. We push this cold Arctic air out of here today, and it's going to be over that snowpack. So the wide range in temperatures will be in the 40s out there in Colorado. Along Highway 25 will be in that 30 to 35 degree range. And then you get off to the east and northeast, and they're probably on the middle to upper 20s or highs today. And this is going to be short lived because we got those double barrel low pressures that will come through here tonight. We got a low that will move out of Colorado through Texas. And then a second one right on its tail coming through Idaho, Wyoming, and Nebraska during the day tomorrow. That's the one that's going to have the wind switch starting tomorrow. Uh, Winds turn to the north, gusted anywhere 20 to 40 miles per hour. And that's going to pull that cold air down over us. We'll see temperatures then only in the teens for a couple days. We'll have light blowing snow. And it looks like it'll track through Nebraska and north and east of our listening area from Cook to Norton where that snow will fall and we'll just have flurries, wind, and colder conditions. Uh, We expect temperatures to only be in the teens for highs and to our lower 20s tomorrow through Saturday. Overnight lows drop into zero in the single digits and wind chills going 10 to 15 below. So tomorrow night into Friday morning, there will be wind chill advisories in those locations to the north and east. That's Decatur, Red Willow, Norton, Arapaho areas. And then, you know, we'll be just in the ice box for a few more days. And that Arctic air then will get pulled off to the east behind that system as those two lows will merge east of the Mississippi and the mid-Atlantic southeast somewhere. And then we'll return over the weekend in earnest on Sunday and Monday uh, back to southwesterly flow. It could be breezy, 15 to 25 miles per hour winds. So we'll really see our temperatures shift up there back into the 30s and 40s, depending on how much snow is left around, and also low temperatures in the 20s. As meteorologist Chris Schrammick joining us here this morning on 106.1 KYVZ.